Hola, señores and señoritas. <laughs> Are you listening? Hey guys, hey, it's Pretty Girl Theo coming to you from my bedroom. Uh, I just want to say sorry for looking a hot mess because today I had class and it is disgusting outside and I'm saying ain't nobody beat to be doing the face, getting the hair all together. So, <clears throat> we're going to come to you like this today. Um, as y'all can see, I have a new do. If I want to have a video on what these are, but I'm guessing everybody knows what the heck these are because there's a thousand videos. So if y'all don't want a video, don't comment. I guess that's how easy it is. But you should subscribe. Because if you didn't subscribe yet, what you doing? I'll let you subscribe. <clears throat> You down? Alright. Let's get into it. <clears throat> Sorry. I'm a little sick. But, um, I hope everyone had a great spring. What year are we in? 2017? Yes. Spring 2017 semester because I sure as heck did not. Um, I had my last video that I posted on how I got my first F in math. If you didn't see that video, check it out because it was a very very sad time in life for me because I'm just not the type of student and let's just talk about this math class because oh my gosh did that math class give me hell that math class gave me a run for my damn money that class oh my god oh my god yes oh my god call on Jesus because that's all I could have Literally, every test, every quiz, every homework, everything I did, I was like on my knees. Like, Jesus, I need you to help me complete this, get what I got to do, and let's keep it moving because that class was no joke. There was a point in time I literally was failing class, but my teacher was like, no, it's okay. You can do it. You'll pass. So... Let's not make the story long. Yes, I was failing the class at a point in time. So I had a 67 in the class. It's not failing, that's a D, but to move on to the next class, you need a C in that class, which was, this class is pre-calculus. For me to pass on to calculus, I need to get a C in the course, which is a 70. So for my final test that we had, I had to get a 70 or above to get a 70 in the class. Isn't that ironic, right? <sighs> Let me tell you, I studied day and night. I was playing no games. I was like, I don't care. I need to get the 70 because if I have to retake this course, I'm throwing it out. Like I was just like, I'm over it. It's, it's too much, too much, this math stuff. I'm not no mathematician. When I was telling my friend, when they do dedications at church, apparently the preacher, pastor, whoever, prayed over me to not talk about math and science because, listen, a girl struggles in those subjects, like, so bad. But anyway, I um, studied so much, studied so, so much. So, <laughs> day of test came, I went in there, take my test, da-da-da, doing it, doing it, doing it. And so you know how you come to those problems, you just don't know the answer. So you're like, you know what, not gonna stress it. I don't know the answer, I don't know how to do it, not gonna stress it. Then there's those questions that you come across and you're like, I know how to do this, but I'm forgetting some steps or something's not coming out right. I had two of those on my test. When I tell you I'm taking a test, my teacher comes, because you know math, you have a non-calculator part and then you have a calculator part. So my teacher gives the non-calculator part first. So after a couple minutes, she's like, you know, not a couple minutes, some time went by, and she's like, um, guys, if you're still in the non-calculator part, I think it's time to move on to your calculator part. I heard her word, but I'm thinking like, you know, if we need extra time, she's gonna give it to us, so I'm not even worried. So then I, 
I'm like struggling with this question that I know I know how to do, but I cannot remember. So I'm like, let me ask her. Maybe she can know, give me a quick tip. I called her over. I'm like, can you help me with da-da-da? And she's like, um, I think you should move on to the calculator part, Deanna. Balls of tears ran down my eyes. Like, I started crying, like, bawling in the middle of the test. And I'm like, it's okay. I'm like, it's okay. You can She's like, she just walked away. I was just like an emotional train wreck. Like, I, cause I've never been at this point in my life where like, it's literally, I'm gonna make it or I'm not gonna make it. And it was just so much pressure on me. And I was just like, uh, uh, cause I really, 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 really was not trying to retake that course again because I really thought it was hell. So I didn't feel like going through all of it again. Like, that's my one thing. When I started college, I was like, bro, we're not about to be retaking courses because I don't have no time for that to be sitting in a course for 15 weeks and then I have to spend another 15 weeks in the same course that I was just in. Nobody has time. Nobody has time for that. Nobody has money to be wasting for that. Like, come on. You got to keep moving forward. There's no freaking pause and redo. Like, we don't have time for that. So, yes, I was just really stressed. So, you know what? After a while, I was just like, let me just take the calculator part. And I asked her, I was like, um, if I finish my calculator part and there's time, can I go back to my non calculator part? Yeah, sure, you know. So, I'm doing my calculator part, da 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 doing it, doing it, whatever. Then, um... Class is done. Everybody's gone. It's just me and this other girl. She's like, guys, you only have like five minutes left. Ball of tears again. <laughs> Started crying again. I'm like, yo, because the open ended, the calculator part I met, I answered maybe one of them, bro. And I'm just like, what is going on? What is literally life right now? I'm like, I studied and I don't know what, like, I was like, Jesus, where are you right now? Because I really need you. And you're really leaving me here on a cliff right now. And I'm just like, oh, I can't take this anymore. So then she's like, I need your paper. She's like, I need your papers. So then I'm like, you know what? I gave up on this calculator part. I went until I gave her my paper. I'm like, so can I get my non-calculator part back? Girl said no. Girl, no, it came again. Say it with me. Balls of tears came Again, again. <laughs> this third time I'm crying during this test, bro. Third time I'm crying during this test. So she's like, Deanna, Deanna, she keeps calling me. I was trying not to, I was, yes, I was ignoring her. I was not trying to ignore her. But it was the fact that I was crying. So if I answered her, it would have been like crying to answer her. So I didn't want the other girl to know I was crying. And I don't want her to know, I don't want my teacher to know I was crying as well. So I would just, you know, not answer her. And then she was like, come to my office, I'll give you five minutes to do it. So then I answered real quick, like, okay, because I stopped crying because I was in distress. So, stopped crying, went to her office, literally took another, like, had to be 30 minutes. This class starts at 8 a.m. I was, literally, when I was done, when I handed her my test, it was like 10.40. Mind you, class ends at... 9 45 so i literally took a whole extra hour to take the test most devastating thing that <laughs> like i don't know i just i just cannot imagine myself sitting down to take another course over again when i already sat there for 15 weeks like nobody i already went over this but nobody has time for that honestly nobody has time for that i understand people do it some people can um can register it in their mind that it's okay for me it's it, no I'm not doing that. Like, I don't have time. I'm either gonna drop out, switch my major, or I'm gonna need like a year break because ain't nobody got time to be doing this stuff again. But grades went in, checked my grade, passed the class with a C. <laughs> you know your girl did it. Not me. I didn't do it. We all know who did it. It was Jesus Christ himself because I wasn't about to do it myself. I had no, it was not me. It honestly wasn't. Y'all know it wasn't. But, yeah, I passed with a C, so now my transcript, I have two Cs, which is not, you know, something ideal you would want, but, and you want to know where the other C came from? No, I have a C and I have a C plus. You want to know where the C came from? Both of the Cs and the C plus, whatever. Both math. I'm telling you, they did not pray for math for me when 
it was my time for dedication because math is not in my books. So I'm gonna need y'all to pray for me for math and science because I just need a lot of help. I need like, just help. Help me, Jesus, help me. That's, <laughs> that's all I can ask for. But, um, yeah. Besides that, the semester was pretty great. My chem class, I got, we have four exams. First one, three. We had three exams. First one, I got an 84. Second one, 94. Last one, 70 something. But you know that last one, you never be beat. You be like, it's the end of the semester, I got good grades, whatever. So I passed the class with a B. My music course, passed out with an A plus. Like, I took music all four years of high school, so that was freaking an easy piece of cake. Like, that was nothing to me. And then I was taking a writing course, passed out with an A online, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. I mean, I cried a couple times because I didn't want to write the papers, and I was like, I'm really just not beat for this, but, you know, your girl got through them and wrote those papers, so how about that? But besides that math class, taking my behind, <laughs> this semester was okay you know what i made it through <laughs> like i really made it through with the help of jesus my great friends that study with me and stuff my prayers having people pray for me. yo <laughs> quick story look i'm literally about like i'm already tearing up i know i'm so emotional but literally the day before monday the monday I had to take my test y'all know i'm a church girl i go to church every sunday hallelujah praise the lord get my praise on I went to church that Sunday, there was uh, another preacher, it wasn't my pastor, it was another preacher, it was a lady, and she made people go around if you need prayer, so at first I was sitting down, in the back of my head I'm like, D, you should get up, you know you need some prayer girl, I'm getting so emotional, let's take a minute, let's take a minute, let's get this together, oh, that's all emotional, what's wrong with you girl? <sighs> Express yourself. Dum, dum. Da, 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 dum, da, 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 dum. Da, 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 dum. All right, we got. So, the preacher's like, she sent people around to pray with you if you needed, you know, some prayer for something. So, I'm sitting there. Mind you, I was already going to ask my pastor. Cause that's how, like, when I tell you I was. There was a dog outside, and I didn't see his owner, but I just saw his owner. Okay. That's how stressed out I was. Like, I literally had my mindset when I go to church Sunday. I was like, I'm going to find somebody at the church to pray with me. Even if it's my pastor, even if it's, like, just one of, like, my old mentors to pray with me. Because I was like, I really just need, like, Jesus. Because, <laughs> listen, you already know I was in my, tr blah, 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 blah. you already know I wasn't trying to retake that course. But anyway, um, yeah, the lady came up and she told people to come pray for people. So, I would sit down and I'm like, girl, you know you should be standing, you know you should be standing, you know you should be standing. So after a while, I stood up. Somebody came up to me. They were like, yeah, what do you want to pray for? I'm like, school. She starts praying. Da 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 going in, you know. God help her, lead her. You know, you take the wheel, da 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 all this good stuff. Balls of tears start rolling. You would think somebody died. Like, I'm just, when I tell you I was in over my head, like, I was like, oh my gosh, I can't take this cash anymore. But no, literally, I was bawling, bawling. Like, I'm just, I was so stressed, so stressed. But where did that come from? Um, yeah, beca because I really just made this semester only because of God, the people who helped me, me being focused and, like, determined to make sure that I didn't have to retake any of these courses, people praying for me. I was telling everybody pray for me. I call my goodbye every day, like, you praying? Told my dad, pray for me. Told my mom, don't even go to church. I'm like, mom, pray for me, like, because if I don't pass this course, it's gonna be the end for me here. This is this is the finish line right here. <laughs> but y'all, we made it. We made it. I hope y'all made it. I really hope everybody had a good semester. Hope everybody's having a good summer. It's summer time. 
psych. I'm taking a whole chemistry course right now, organic chem one. I know somebody went rounds. Catch me outside. Like, y'all probably like, Theo, you mad stupid. What's wrong with you? Bro, I'm trying to get this degree. I'm trying to get out of this community college so I can keep on forward with my life. Because, you know, I try to be a doctor over here. And, you know, I'm about to be in school for like 5 million thousand hundred hours. So, yeah. I'm just trying to get this thing over with. But, yeah, honestly, I hope everybody really had a good semester. If you didn't, don't be like me. Don't don't be like me. I'm just talking. I was never gonna drop out though. I y'all probably like, no, you're just saying that because you don't want us to drop out. I really don't want y'all to drop out. I really don't want y'all to feel like that. I know you're going to be really upset, which I was really gonna be upset if I didn't pass that class. But it happens. Honestly, you just gotta look at it as everything happens for a reason. Like you don't know. You could have filled that class. And God put you in this next class so you can meet this person and then watch. I don't know, that could be your next husband. That could be your next connection to begin, like, a network. Like, maybe you want to start your own company and you met this person in this other class. You're like, you never know. Like, so, I mean, cry your tears. You're going to be upset because you're going to either have to take it in the summer, six weeks, ten weeks. Or just going to take it in the fall or the spring and it's going to be another 15 weeks. But look, everything happens for a reason. We're not the ones who has the master plan. God does it for some reason, so just wipe it off. Take it the next semester, you got to take it, and keep moving forward. So, have fun this summer. Sign up. Get lit. I'm not going to be going. I'm making it sound like y'all not going to hear from me for the whole summer. Y'all going to hear from me more because I got a lot of stuff lined up. But wait. Y'all got to wait, but no, like, it's really going to start to get live after I finish this chemistry class. But I'm doing good already, guys, because I already got a 20 out of 20 on one of my quizzes. And I'm just, you know, it's a six-week class. After this week, we only got four weeks left. Cash me out, so I'll say now. I said I'm going to stop saying that. Not promoting that little girl. Anyway, guys. <laughs> God bless. Um... I hope all is well. If you have any problems, any concerns, any questions, anything for me, shoot them in my comments. Um, slide in my DMs. Follow me on social media. Um, and there's a lot more stuff to come. A lot more fun. Um, yeah. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, share, all that good stuff. And I think I'm going to cut this now. All right. I love you guys. try it and we're gonna move on to the next but i'm really excited for this i just got this in the mail yesterday so yeah and i know huh, a girl is loving it already like i'm looking golden crisp tan and y'all know i love it